<laughs> Sean's not even trying right now. It's just a ticking time bomb till Sean just goes off on him. You're about to have a really bad day in the next minute. All right, now you're gonna go. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Hey! Ladies and gentlemen, this is the man we need for president. He will handle any bullshit that comes to our world. You know what? Props to Sean Strickland because not out of 10 times the influencers think they have a chance. But when you actually get in there with somebody who's skilled, it's a whole different ball game. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. We have a brand new breakdown for you. You guys want me to break down Sean Strickland versus Sneeko. Now, if you guys don't know who these gentlemen are, Sean Strickland is the former middleweight champion of the world in mixed martial arts. And you have Sneeko, who is an influencer. These guys were in Las Vegas. They wanted to do a little sparring match. We have Forrest Griffin, who's going to oversee this to make sure nobody dies. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe. Also, hit the bell to know when we go live. And you guys call for this, and I'm going to give it to you. So here we go. So he, so right there, the reason why Forrest Griffin asked him where you're going to hit him, he says, oh, I might hit him in the body. I'm going to hit him in the head. Typically, when you spar people who aren't on your level, and obviously there's a massive weight difference, you never want to hit him in the head because that's how you get concussions, brain damage, and all that stuff. If Sean Sugar was to load up a big shot and hit him in the liver, he drops, fights over. But um, that's why Forrest Griffin asked where you're going to hit him. Just to give you guys a little background on that for fighters. Let's see the influencer. Let's see the influencer. Come on, bro. You're going to be a fucking man. Let's see the influencer. And see, this is one of the things I love about um, uh, Sean Strickland's style is that he applies this style to anybody he fights. So you have the void right here. And Sean Strickland, we've broken down all his fights. He excels when he goes forward. So if he goes forward and shuts down everything that you can do, he is going to excel in his games and get off. You see, I will give props to Sneeko. He's going to the body. He's circling to the right. So he's circling into Sean Strickland's power hand. That's the only bad thing. But he's co continuously moving. Um, he's going to the body. He's going to the head as well, even though he is shorter. So I'll give Sneeko pro props to doing that. But when you have somebody who's a world champion status, um, former world champion status, he can shut all that down to keep coming forward. All right, let's keep on going. All right. <laughs> See, that was your own. And see, here's the thing. Right, yeah. See, in those shots, and here's the thing. Right? And see, okay. Okay, so here's the thing. Let's I'm gonna go back. So all this coming in and out for Sneeko, it's doing what it's supposed to do, right? Let's go back real quick. I'm gonna go back a little bit. Why is it going back so slow? Okay, here we go, right here. So if Sneeko had a little bit more, he could faint and Sean's gonna whiff and he can come back with the right hand. So right here, Sneeko, he's at the he's at the edge of the void. He faints. I'm gonna he faints, faints, Sean misses. Sneeko's actually in a good position if he was taller enough and better to hit Sean with a right hand right here. He basically feints it. Sean whiffs. He could have hit him if he had the skills because Sean's style is designed to, he's guessing, he's guessing. So you faint and boom, come with the right hand, right? Granted, Sean's taller, right? Sneeko's here. He's got to get him here. He's got to reach up and hit him. So that takes power off Sneeko's. So in order when you have somebody do that, you step in with the overhand right, you lock your shoulder, you drop the weight, instant knockout. So Sneeko's not doing anything bad. He's just he's just not at that level. But the way Sean's style is, is whiffing and missing and pawing, that professionals make Sean, uh, uh, Sean miss by fainting because his style is to put hands out there. Granted, once again, this is a sparring match. I like to break things down and, and try to pick up everything. So he whiffs. Man. Misses. Right? Like right there? He did. 
Yeah. yeah. This is the moment that you're realizing you're about to have a really bad day in the next minute. Oh, man. You see all that coming forward? It's. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, his movement, his lateral movement is good. He's getting himself outside of the corner, but it's just a ticking time bomb until Sean just goes off on him. And when when a Sean is in this this the shell, I love this style. I'm not the biggest fan of his Philly. He's not like this, right? He's more coming forward, putting his hands on his opponents. I love this because each time Sneaky goes to the body or tries to go outside hook or jabs, he's so he's he's very well protected because he understands the distance and look where his hands are right now. Sean can read everything he's going to do, everything, everything. So. That's why when Sean gets hit to the body, it doesn't it doesn't hurt him because one, it's Nico, and two, he's in a position where he can he can absorb the energy. <laughs> Look, yeah. But see right there that whiffing. If Sneeko was athletic enough, and, blah, blah, and come up top he would land a good shot and then it'll be game over for him. In your brain, did you think this is how it was gonna go? <laughs> you know what? Props to Sean Strickland because not out of 10 times the influencers think they have a chance, but when you actually get in there with somebody who's skilled, it's a whole different ball game. I'm sure Sneaky said, oh man, this is gonna go a lot it's a different ball game, no matter who it is. Always a ball game. Sneeko is not doing bad. No, he's not. I mean, his movement is not bad, him moving, but Sean's not even trying right now. Let's go. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's not his problem. Yeah, nice, nice. Okay. Okay, now, now is where he starts getting him. All right, now you're gonna go. <laughs> Already? Already, Sean Strickland is behind that shoulder. He's right behind that shoulder. Look where Sneeko's looking. Sneeko's looking this way. Sean's looking at him. Already, Sean Strickland gets behind his shoulder as a savage he is. Okay. This is for uh, this is for Mikey Misimichi. <laughs> oh. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And see, the biggest thing I'm going to take it back real quick. The biggest thing for Sneeko is that Sean could eat all this up right here. The head won't fall. But when you disrupt the diaphragm and the liver shots, which was all open and exposed, it doesn't matter how hard you hit him in the head. If Sean hits him one good left hook to the liver, he's falling. It does not matter. It's a, Your body seizes and you fall. It goes in a protection mode to hold. But when your head's getting hit, you can move around. Your legs still work. But when you hit the diaphragm, it would have been a game over. Like I would have, I probably would need him to the liver or, or hit him in the, the solar plex to stop him. But right here, Sneeko's blind. He's blind. He can't see anything. So that shot even does more dividends on his on his brain. And he, he doesn't know where the shot's going to come from. And then Sean throws this beautiful 
uppercut from hell. Me. Yeah. Uppercut from hell. I missed it already. Throws that, and here comes a left hook. Bop. Still blind. He's on the angle. He's trying to run. He can't run. Sean puts his hand here. Like, this is where Sean... I'm shocked Sean didn't go to the body. Because you hit. if he would hit that same punch to that liver, game over. Easily. Bop. 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 Uppercut. Bop. Yeah. Oui. Oui. I mean, all those shots right there are like concussion, concussion, concussion. Every single one of those things. And look at his nose. Hey, he's still sporting a smile. <laughs> you need to smile down. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the man we need for president. He will handle any bullshit that comes to our world. Okay, <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> oh man, uh, let's see how this ends. Hey, you didn't fall, Speaker. Good job. World champion. Oh, bro, you did great. Like you said, obviously, you wasn't going hard in the beginning, but you were throwing good shots. You were moving. Yep. Like I told you, huge respect. I agree with Jake Shields. I, I I agree with Jake Shields. He was moving very good. He was throwing good shots to the body and trying to go one, two, three up top. But when you get in there with a guy like Sean Strickland, who has such an amazing style of crossing the distance, crossing the void, shutting you down, encountering you, there is literally nothing you can do. I mean, he does that to world championship. He did it to Israel Asanya. And for him to do it to Sneeko, there is nothing Sneeko could do. But it's good for Sneeko to understand that, like, it's just a different level. Like, and I think Sneeko realizes that, but I think he actually had the reality of it is a different level. So, boys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe. Also, Hit the bell to know go live and shout out to Sean Strickland and Sneeko for uh, creating this content. As MMA Guru will call it, it's a side quest.